Welcome. Now the presentation of the colors and the national anthem sung by the Roulette family. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Pastor Jim Weaver will now give the invocation. Hi, my name is Jim Weaver. I am the worship pastor and administrator from Refuge City Church. I was invited to be with you today to do the invocation. And I just want to extend my sincere congratulations to you for this giant milestone in your life. I thought of the significance of this moment, not only for you as graduates, but also for where our world is right now as a whole. We're walking in uncharted territory. Many of you are graduating today, and you didn't expect today to look quite like it does. However, you're experiencing the reward of persistence. If stories could be told one by one, so much has been overcome throughout the course of your education, and it would be amazing to hear each story. What we are experiencing today through this global crisis will be an additional marker of what you walked through to get where you are today. It will become a part of your story. As strange as it feels today, it is one more demonstration of the result of persistence and determination. And that persistence and determination is what you have had throughout this entire season of gaining your higher education. It's gonna help you to change your life for the future and also to be a part of the change in the world that I know each one of you want to do. May I join the many voices around you today to extend a deeply heartfelt congratulations. Adversity has not stopped you. It made you stronger and it built a resilience that will send you out to distant horizons with the tools you need to succeed. So today I would love to pray over you and to pray over this facility and to pray over your faculty and for the future that you are walking into. Psalm 31, verse seven through eight, it says, I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hands of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. So let's pray. Father, I just thank you right now for the resilience and the persistence of the students that are graduating from Klamath Community College today. I thank you that they were persistent. I thank you that they've overcome many obstacles this last couple of months only being one of them. And they're getting ready to walk into a brand new future. God, I ask you to bless their futures, their families, give them wisdom and help them, Lord, to use this moment as a marker, as a story, as a memorial of how hard work and persistence and wisdom pays off. I thank you for the staff 
for the faculty, for the facilities here at Klamath Community College, their persistence and their diligence to try to finish this year out strong. And I pray for wisdom into the days to come. I thank you for the families of the graduates, that you would bless them, the children that are represented, the parents that are represented, the friends, the loved ones all around. And we pray, God, for our community, that you would bring hope, optimism, and celebration into this moment, that in the midst of dark things, that we will always look for the good things, that you would cause us to pull together, that you would cause our community to thrive, and you would cause the communities to thrive wherever these graduates may go. Help us to pull together and be unified in hope, unified in creativity and in innovation and strategies to help make our world a better place. And I pray that it would all be to your glory, Father God. And so we pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Pastor Weaver. It is truly a privilege to welcome our graduates, their families, and friends to the 24th commencement ceremony at Klamath Community College. This past year has been a challenging, but also a remarkable time for our students, faculty, and staff. A great deal of institutional energy, heart, and soul has been devoted to ensure the success of our next generation of students. So it is indeed a pleasure to relax while we enjoy the success and moments of celebration for this exceptional graduating class. We thank you for joining us today as our guests, as we honor and confer degrees for our 2020 class of graduates. We are pleased that our graduates made Klamath Community College their choice as their educational partner in pursuing to change their lives through higher education. Students, we have watched you struggle, grow, and develop. We are confident you will turn those struggles into upcoming strengths and assets. For many of you, your college experience has resulted in something much more than a degree. It is a chance for a new beginning and a pathway to approach opportunity and change. For others, their educational experience has been a time for reflection, self-assurance, direction, and a vision for the future. To family, friends, and other guests, today we acknowledge the accomplishments of our graduates. So let me invite the families and friends of our graduates who are watching to express their pride and share the joy in their graduates' achievements by joining me in honoring the exceptional Klamath Community Clash of 2020. Customarily at this time, I would have the students stand and thank their parents, spouses, children, grandparents, aunts and uncles, family and friends with applause. Students, remember to show your appreciation to those who have provided counsel, encouragement, support, and love and likely weathered the storm as you strive to reach this milestone. Now it is my pleasure to virtually introduce you to the Klamath Community College Board of Education. The legal authority of Klamath Community College is vested in the Board of Education. The board is comprised of a vital group of citizens from our community who are active in public service and who excel in their professional careers. The college depends on them for their financial and management expertise, for their leadership, community visibility, diverse opinions, and voice they bring from the community. Our Board of Education also ensures that the college upholds the significant institutional core values and meets the educational needs of our community. Klamath Community College is fortunate to have this distinguished group of committed individuals who give so freely and unselfishly of their time and leadership. It is through the Board's authority that we grant our graduates the degrees today. The Klamath Community College board members are Chair of the Board, Mr. Dave Jensen, Mr. Michael Fitzgerald, Mr. Kenneth DeCranz, Mr. Al King, Ms. Helen Peterson, Ms. Kate Marquez, Mr. William Riggs. Thank you to the Klamath Community College Board of Education. Next, it is my pleasure to introduce and thank the executive leadership of the college. Mr. Bill Jennings, Interim Vice President of Student Affairs. Mr. Charles Massey, Executive Director of External Programs. 
Mr. Justin Wright, Executive Director of Human Resources and General Counsel. Ms. Jamie Jennings, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Ms. Tricia Fiscus, Vice President of Administrative Services and the Chief Financial Officer. Thank you to the Klamath Community College cabinet members. The faculty and staff at Klamath Community College play a very important role in the success of our graduates. Even though our educational plan was interrupted by COVID-19, which created big challenges. At no time did faculty question the additional extracurricular work, the new forms of teaching, or the challenges of adjusting to new technologies. Faculty did not quit on you or give up on their commitment to your success students. Hence, because of this dedication, we are here today celebrating your accomplishments. This celebration is the evidence of their support to student success. We thank the dedicated faculty who served, guided, and sustained you during these difficult times. And now it is my pleasure to recognize members of the Associated Students of Klamath Community College that will be graduating this year. I would like to introduce you, Jenny Naylor, the president of ASKCC for graduation remarks. Thank you, Dr. Gutierrez, and welcome Klamath Community College Class of 2020. It has been an honor serving as your ASKCC president this year. On behalf of myself and the entire ASKCC team, we'd like to offer our congratulations on the completion of your journey to become college graduates. We're so very proud of you, and we celebrate this moment with you. I've heard it said in life that what feels like the end is often the beginning. We all came to KCC for different from different places for different reasons, but many of us began the educational journey to start over. It had been the end, the end of a job, the end of high school, or for me, the end of the ability to work in a career path that I'd loved for many years. It was the end, but KCC helped us all begin something incredible. We've had the honor of walking beside you through the challenges and joys of your college journey. Your immense strength and determination have been evident every day. Your kindness and empathy and teamwork have made this an inspiring and supportive campus for your classmates as well. We watched you work and struggle through every imaginable challenge and obstacle, including a pandemic, and you overcame them all. Today, you are college graduates. This may be the end of your Klamath Community College journey, but now you begin living the dream that you have planned and worked so hard for. Your determination has changed and bettered your life as well as the lives around you. We look forward to seeing the amazing things that you will do next. Congratulations, Klamath Community College, Class of 2020. Thank you, Jenny. Student voice is an integral part of any college campus, and these students have done a marvelous job of representing their peers as part of student government. Thank you for your service and congratulations. I also want to take a moment and thank the graduation committee who works the entire year planning the commencement program, especially this year. And this year had to, to pivot to the virtual commencement ceremony due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The committee, comprised, comprised of staff and many volunteers, deserves special recognition for a job well done. The committee consists of Shannon Childs, Alice Newberry, Oscar Herrera, Jordan Jones, Dale Severance, Mike Homefelt, Lacey Gerald, Andrew Merriman, Tammy Garlock, Rachel Vian, Chip Massey, Bill Jennings, and M. Chabir. Thank you. Graduates, family, and friends, this past year has been challenging, but also remarkable time for our students, faculty, and staff. In some ways, it has been a season of loss. Many families lost their jobs, their savings, their plans for the future. 
Many of you, I know, have suffered these things too. With losses on that order, it seems frivolous to process with this ceremony. No, it's not. A college graduation is a big deal. It's important, and for many decades, we have celebrated in the same formal way, with pomp, circumstance, and a lexicon of special terms, academic regalia, processing down the aisle, and conferring of degrees. Now, even though we are doing our best in this type of circumstance, I have to acknowledge it's not quite the same. You're not getting the same type of commencement your predecessors received. Why? Because history has found you. An event that will change the way we live has swept around the globe, and it found you. As your spring break was extended, the reality began to settle in. You were not coming back to KCC in the same way you left. But instead of giving up, and many would understand if you did, you continue attending class. You went to class in your bedrooms, at your kitchen tables, and even in your cars. You did it with computers and Zoom and group chats. You wrote papers, you took notes, tried to figure out virtual labs, complex math problem sets, all while trying to adapt to a more literal meaning of remote education. People all over have admitted how difficult these times have been, how they could not concentrate, let alone study for a test. Many have lingered over their TVs watching the news and wondering what will happen next. It would have been so easy to give up and not continue education, but you, whom you, we celebrate today, you did not give up. You kept going. And now in this strange situation, you have become college graduates. Over the past few months, your commitment to your education has been evident. While continuing your classes, you gain more knowledge to help you become a well-educated professional. But maybe even unknowingly, you also gain something else, something equally as powerful. You gain the knowledge and discernment that you have been tested and you persevered during these extraordinary times and circumstances. You did not falter nor give up. I believe the knowledge and experience that you gain will be very beneficial to your future, and I know that you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. I hope as you exit KCC, you enter a new chapter in your life. You are able to recognize yourselves as more confident and competent individuals and have the faith to know whatever comes your way, you will find the strength to continue on. Remember, you've gone through this. Because of that, boy, you can do just about anything. Congratulations, graduates. Now I would like to introduce Bill Jennings, Interim Vice President of Student Affairs, to recognize selecting graduating students and how they have succeeded. Thank you, Dr. Gutierrez. Now I have the distinct honor of continuing with the tradition to the Klamath Community College commencement ceremony. That is, highlighting the journey of two graduating students. The students highlighted today have been selected because of the significant obstacles they have overcome in obtaining their degrees. While this is only two stories, this represents the challenges of many of our graduates have overcome in achieving the incredible accomplishment of college graduation. I am continually inspired by the stories of our students, and in this spirit, I would like to introduce you to Maria Rios Andrade. Maria, who immigrated from Mexico, has lived in the Klamath Basin for seven years. Maria began her educational journey at KCC with dual credit classes at Lost River High School. Dual credit and the Oregon Promise opened the doors for access to college for her as a first-generation Latina college student. She has attended KCC for three years and is graduating today with an associate's degree of applied science in digital media and web design. School has been difficult financially with two students in the family and having one wage earner. Last November, this became even more difficult when her father lost his job. Maria and her brother both were now working to pay for school and provide support to the family. Recognizing the importance of her education, Maria worked more hours and remained committed to staying in school and getting good grades. This spring, to help with additional COVID virus sanitation, Maria was willing to take on more hours as well. In the future, Maria plans to continue her studies for a bachelor's degree in multimedia and graphic arts design. Congratulations, Maria. 
Our second student spotlight is Maricela Flores Pena. Maricela began her journey with KCC in 2006. She is the first person in her family to graduate from high school and now college. Beginning at KCC, her first classes were basic math and language skills one. Hard work and determination led to Maricela obtaining her certified nursing assistant credentials in 2007. She obtained full-time employment in this field of study. After starting a family, Maricela returned to KCC part-time and has been diligently working on classes while continuing to work full-time as a nursing assistant and medical assistant. To complete on time and qualify for applying to nursing school, Maricela finished with a 15 credit term load while still working full time. In fall 2020, she is accepted and enrolled in Oregon Health Sciences Nursing School. Congratulations, Maricela. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Justin Wright, Executive Director of Human Resources and General Counsel to present staff, faculty who made a difference. Thank you, Vice President Bill Jennings. It is my privilege to recognize a KCC employee who made a difference in the lives of our students. Some of our students have overcome many challenges to be here today. You never know what is going to make a difference in a student's life. What event or person may impact a student to change their life's path in a positive direction? This year's graduates were given the opportunity to nominate an employee to be recognized at the graduation ceremony for being a person who made a difference. All KCC employees can impact the lives of our students, so the nominee could be any employee at KCC, faculty, advisor, student success advisor, staff, administrator, financial aid rep, or any employee. The employee being recognized for making a significant difference in the lives of students for the KCC class of 2020 is student success advisor Elizabeth Early. Reading from the student nomination. Elizabeth Early made a difference in my educational plan. I met Elizabeth at the end of fall term 2019. I was frustrated with the feeling that I was attending Klamath Community College for what seemed forever to me, and I did not feel like I was progressing towards my goal. Elizabeth took the initiative to be my advisor, and she looked thoroughly throughout my transcripts. She found I had completed more credits than I had thought. She reached out to the registrar and assisted me with making appropriate substitutions and course waivers. She was able to get credits for my classes that originally did not count towards my degree. Because of her encouragement and belief in me, I decided to proceed with 15 to finish along with a full-time job. Throughout my experience, Elizabeth would check in with me from time to time and make sure I was doing well. I appreciate the time that she took to look into my records support and encourage me, and help me attain my goal. I have now been accepted into the nursing program at OIT. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for all of your help. Thank you, Elizabeth Early, for making a difference in this student's life. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Jamie Jennings, Vice President of Academic Affairs, to recognize students who received academic honors. Thank you, Mr. Wright. It is my distinguished honor today to recognize students for academic excellence. These students have shown discipline, persistence, and grit. The students I would like to recognize are graduating with honors as Phi Theta Kappa members. Phi Theta Kappa is one of our nation's most prestigious honor society. Phi Theta Kappa members must have a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5, are committed to serving their peers and the community, and all members must adhere to high ethical standards. Phi Theta Kappa members can be recognized in our virtual graduation processional by their Honor Society stoles. Congratulations, Phi Theta Kappa members. Thank you for your academic excellence, leadership, and service to our students and the community. The college is honored to recognize the Phi Theta Kappa students graduating in the class of 2020. And now, Dr. Gutierrez. It is now time for my favorite part of the program and also my favorite role as president, the conferring of degrees. Ms. Jamie Jennings, Vice President of Academic Affairs will now present the class of 2020. Thank you, Dr. Gutierrez. Chair, members of the board, family members, and all who share with us in this event, I present to you the 2020 candidates for certificates and associates degrees. And now, as is our tradition at KCC, 
The faculty will announce the candidates for awards and certificates. In this portion of the ceremony, we'll be awarding degrees for the candidates in accounting, advanced manufacturing, agriculture, business, business technology, and welding. In the tradition of Klamath Community College's commencement, the faculty will announce the candidates for degrees and certificates. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. Kathy Hewitt. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in accounting, associate's degrees, pathway certificate, accounting, bookkeeping. Amanda Northrup. Carolyn Moon. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mr. Stanley Pence. It is my pleasure to announce, to the, uh, announce the candidates in Advanced Manufacturing Engineering Technology and Certificate Manufacturing Engineering Technologist, uh, Marcia Ham. Jennifer Ramirez. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Professor Matthew Walter. It's my pleasure to announce the candidates for advanced manufacturing and certificates of welding. Um, the first candidate is special to me. He's my son and my best friend, Niles A. Walter. Another special. Another special candidate, Kelsey G. Box. Welding. Our next faculty announced candidates is Professor Keith Duran. It is my pleasure to announce the sole candidate that's walking today uh, in agriculture science, Miss Josephine Ross. The next faculty member to announce candidates is the incomparable Mrs. Linda Williamson. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in business administration, marketing, business administration, management, and certificate business management. Our first candidate, Jesslyn Nicole Riggins. Congratulations. 
Jordan Haley Boucher. Christopher Shane Curtis. Dale Harrison Irvin the third. Charletta Danielle Gillette. Gillette, though we know her as Danny. <laughs> Oscar Herrera. Jessica Lynn Seidel. Michelle A. McNair. Sherry Lynn Rose. Garen J. Tina, who we know as Bear. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jose Manuel Lepe Gonzalez. Janae L. Hall. Riley Don Rogers. Armina Marie Caronis. Ashley Ann Reed. Congratulations, Ashley. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Professor Kathy Saunders. It is with great pride and my pleasure to announce the candidates for the Associate of uh, Applied Science and Business Technology Office Professional and Accounting Certificate. George William McKillop. Gina Marie Sticklin. Please welcome Mr. Pete Bransness to announce our candidates. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in computer engineering technology. Daniel Grant Fallon. Yeah, you gotta keep going. I can't shake your hands. <laughs> Okay. 
Bernard Ben Luff. Congratulations. Jeanette Angel Moon. Daniel B. Munzi. Kayla Lynn Shapirsky. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Ms. Brandy Reeves. Hello, it is my pleasure to announce the candidates in culinary arts food service management. Francisco Burnaby Bernal. Tyler Thomas Dupart. Marco Antonio Ortiz. And Tiffany Ann Roberts. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mr. Troy Lanning. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in cybersecurity and networking. Gabriel Alexander Rodriguez Foster. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mr. Nick Scala. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in diesel technology. Dylan Michael Age. Michael Austin Cole. <laughs> Jeffrey Michael Hauk. Jesse Royal Johnson. Thomas Arthur Ward. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mr. Troy Lanning.
It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in digital media design. Lyles Charles Brewer. Austin David Davies. Dylan James McClure. And Maria F. Rios Andrade. Our next faculty to announce candidate, candidates is my colleague, Peggy Bullock. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in education, early childhood educator, education, paraeducator, certificate, paraeducator, and pathway certificate, early childhood education. So with an associate's degree of applied science, education, early childhood educa educator, Raylene Barrows. Justina M. Evans. Elan Garcia. Lachey Patrice Munoz. Celia J. Rogers. Associate Applied Science Education Paraeducator, Kylie Lynn Dozier. Jonathan J. Wesley Fernandez. Bailey Miranda Guido. Caitlin Noel McAllister. Sonia Lorraine Perez. Karen Alicia Schlotthauer. And for a certificate in paraeducator, Jacqueline C. Gallimore. Career Pathway Certificates in Early Childhood Education, Yasmin Casillas. Maria Guadalupe Garcia.
Samantha, Mary Lou, Wimp. Josefina, Celeste, Zuniga, Ramirez. Please welcome to the podium, Mr. Jim Gravely. It's my pleasure to announce the candidates in criminal justice, criminal justice certificate, and the certificate in addiction studies. Cameron William Cloud. Michael Gonzalez. Erica Hernandez. Sari Hernandez Cobian. Amber Nicole Preston. Tracy Ann Wicker Sawyer. Tia Finesse Gallagher. Abigail Diane Heverly. Kimberly Jean Lashy. My pleasure to turn the podium over to Ms. Kathy Saunders. It's my pleasure to announce my son, Michael Saunders, Associate of Applied Science, Criminal Justice. Congratulations. <laughs> Now I turn the podium over to Ms. Casey Lanning. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in Emergency Response Operations, Emergency Response Operations EMT, and Emergency Response Operations Structure Fire. Kelsey Morgan Kidner. Alexis K. McWilly. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mrs. Jennifer Briscoe. It is my, it is my pleasure to announce the candidates in Health Information Management and Pathway Electronic Health Record. Okay. Okay. 
uh, uh, Jatana Marie Briones. Marcilia Hernandez. Good job. Stacy Lynn Kendall. Frederick T. Means. And he goes by Rick. Jessica Marie Miles. Good job, Jessica. Cole Wolbar Owen. Good job. Carly L. Smith. The next, the next three are for pathway certificate. Shannon Helene Barker. Adela M. Gonzalez Taylor. And our last one for health information management is Terry Lee Lawrence. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Ms. Mary Lou Wogan. My pleasure to announce the candidates in the Associate of Arts, Oregon Transfer, and the Associate of General Studies. Austin Michael Nicosia. Brenda B. Mendoza. Jenny Easton Naylor. Way to go, Jenny. Congratulations. <laughs> Stephen. M. Minch. Camilla Tatiana Peterson, Associate of General Studies. Associate of General Studies. Michelle C. West, Associate of General Studies.
Clayton Levi Cox, Associate of General Studies. Jack Grimes, Associate of General Studies and Certificate in Business Management. Please welcome Ms. Allison Sansom to announce our candidates. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates in the Associate of Applied Science, Nursing. Deborah Ann Esparza. Karina Lagunas Zarate. Talitha Leja Pena. Holden Earl Polly. Rachel Lillian Margaret Sasser. Tatiana Arcigliano Tanner. Aubrey Marie Westfall. Our next faculty to announce candidates is Mr. Dan Sheehan. Thank you, Allison. Well, now it's my pleasure to introduce the very first, first ever candidates for the Associates of General Studies in Psychology. And I just got to say, I am so thankful I got to ride along with you guys. I appreciate you guys. So, Kayla Rayanne Brown. Nae Zanasis Gertis. We, we practiced this. <laughs> And I still blew it, didn't I? <laughs> Ivy Renee Grant. Destiny Brianne Ishmael. Stacy Marie Jones. Catherine Janine Kahn.
Crystal A. Marino. Colleen Aaron Peak. Sarah Welsh. James Hunter Wilson. Olivia Francis Yoder. Please welcome to the podium, Dr. Barb Mann. It is my pleasure to announce the candidates for the Associate of Science. Okay, Kimberly Don Bickford. Savannah Diane Cogswell. Brandy Lee Gilmore Johnson. Bonnie Jean Hamblin. Megan Renee Martin. Crystal M. Leip. Juan Marino Chavez. Melanie Renee Olson. Manuel A. Ramirez. Okay. Arturo Ramirez Hernandez. Jamie Taryn Taylor. Caleb Abisai Herrera. Elizabeth Haddox. Brittany Renee 
Koseka. Carolyn J. Oti. Richard M. Cullen. Santos Maricela Flores Pena. Candidates, on behalf of the Board of Education of Klamath Community College, I declare the degrees and certificates for which you have completed duly conferred. Back to Dr. Gutierrez. Graduates, we have one final requirement before we can officially say that you have graduated. Virtually, take your left hand and reach over to your tassel and move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. You are now officially graduate of Klamath Community College. Congratulations. Graduates, let me leave you with these words. Use intention to shape your future. Let nothing break your spirit and commit yourself to the full use of your potential. Congratulations to the graduates of 2020. I now declare the commencement of 2020 at a close. Thank you. <laughs>